Morning, this is J2012 once again. I hope you will be able to hear me okay. It is heavy raining outside, but uh, hopefully you will be able to hear me okay. Uh, this is part 8 of the series RC Beginners the Guys to Nitro RC Vehicles. And in this part, part 8, I'm going to be talking to you about tips for the quick starting for your Nitro RC vehicle because many people have problems with their RC vehicles and this is uh, one of them videos to help you um, to get your RC vehicle started in sort of like you know first second pull because people have uh, said to me in the past how do you get your RC engines to start so easily so um, here is some ways of which I um, get them to start nice and easily basically so um, here we are now the first part or the first thing I'm going to mention is um, allow me to take the cover off of here and then we can have a look uh, the first thing I'm going to mention about it is the tuning now I've done many different videos on the tuning of Nitro RC vehicles but tuning is probably the most important thing that you need to get right for your RC vehicle because if you don't have it right then your RC vehicle isn't going to run properly so let me zoom in this high-end needle, this is the high-speed needle, this one is very important. This is the one that controls most of the fuel that enters your car. If you have this set wrong, your engine is not going to stay running easily and it will constantly be dying or quitting. So that is one thing to make sure you have your needles, both of them, tuned properly. Do not do wrong tuning because not only can that harm your engine, it also makes starting much more difficult. Now the other tuning needle that is probably even more important for the starting side of things is your low end. Now your low end is located on the car barrel. It's normally on the throttle linkage like this one. You can see. Here is our low end. It is very, very difficult to get a good focus on the camera, but we will get there. Right, there we are. This tiny little screw here, you see it's facing vertically upwards. That one is very, very important. Because if you have that one set wrong, that is the idle to partial throttle mixture. That means that your car will not idle properly and it will not start properly at all. So that is tuning, so it is important to have tuning right and uh, then your car should start okay. The second factor regarding starting is your fuel percentage. Now I'm not going to mention too much about the fuel percentages because there is actually a part already up of this series at uh, different fuel types and percentages. Go check that out. And then what you can do is watch that one and that will help you regarding your fuel percentage. But basically all I'm going to say here is use the right percentage of fuel for your nitro engine. Different nitro engines, this is a 0.18. This one I usually use 20 to 25% on and on that percentage it runs very, very well. Third thing is priming the engine. Now, priming the engine is usually one of the most important things, meaning why your engine isn't starting. Because if you don't prime your engine right, then there isn't any fuel for it to ignite, therefore your engine will not start and you will have trouble. You will be sat there pulling on the starter. Now, that is one thing. There is a difference between a very well primed engine to a flooded engine. You do not want a flooded engine. If you flood the engine then you will snap your pull cord, your pull starter cord and you will get arm ache. So you do not want to do things like that but that is one thing to prime your engine right. Learn how to prime your engine before you expect it to be starting easily. So that is that. The next thing I'm going to mention is the carb opening gaps. Now the carb opening gaps is at the gap inside the carb. Now if your engine isn't starting easily or it's not starting at all then you need to be checking your gap inside the carb. Now it is very difficult to see once again but your gap should be one to two millimeters open. No more and no less. If you have it more then your engine will run off somewhere. If you have it less then it's not going to be starting at all or you will have to give it throttle in order for it to start. 
Last thing is your igniter. Now, again, as mentioned in the part three of the series about igniters, you should always have more than one because when one goes, you will have another. If you have a flat igniter, that's it. The engine will not start or it won't start easily at all. That brings me on to the final thing, which is the glow plug. Now, if you have diesel car, then diesel cars use glow plugs. Glow plugs are basically not spark plugs. These are glow plugs. They give a glow, not a spark. Now, this is very simple. You attach the igniter on there, which makes the glow plug glow. Now, it is very important that you have a good glow plug. As soon as your uh, glow plug wears out, buy a fresh one and fit in a fresh one. All these things will make starting easier and will make you be able to enjoy your RC vehicles more. Happy driving, happy running, happy tuning, happy starting. See you again soon. Check out the next part of the series.